सो लेट एस टॉक अबाउट कंप्यूटर विजन एंड डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डिजिटल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग सो वाई वी नीड इमेज प्रोसेसिंग वॉट इज द बैकग्राउंड सो इंटरेस्ट कम्स फ्रॉम टू प्राइमरी बैकग्राउंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल improvement of pictorial information for human perception that means if you have a image if you can improve it and human can appreciate it then first uh, primary background was that so how can an image or a video be made aesthetically pleasing means pleasing to eyes if you look at it you will feel good and how can an image video be enhanced to facilitate extraction of useful information a image you know may itself contain certain information which can be extracted for some other purpose so these are the two uh, primary backgrounds and first of all uh, these this particular thing uh, aesthetically pleasing is important but this uh, information extracting is also very important and then processing of data for autonomous machine machine perception right so one of the earliest application was actually improving digitized newspaper pictures sent by this uh, trans uh, atlantic cable so there was newspaper which used to come from uh, somewhere and it was early 1920s and when it is received at the receiver end then it needs to be improved so bartlane cable picture transmission reduced the time to send this transatlantic images from more than a week to less than 3 hours okay so this was a kind of uh, you can say the initial application which were used uh, on the part of this image processing this is the bartlane transmitted image so a specialized printing equipment coded pictures for transmission Now the received and printed on a telegraph printer fitted with type faces to simulate a half tone pattern. An initial problem was you can very well see what is what uh, uh, image is looking like, and you can very well perceive that what problem was there. So initial problems were poor visual quality. You can perceive the quality related to printing process and the distribution of uh, brightness levels. then image produced in 1921 from a coded tape by a telegraph printer this special type of faces were there as you can see here then there was improved bartlane transmitted image this replaced the printing process and new technique used photographic reproduction which is made from a perforated tape at the telegraph receiving terminal so improvements which were done was on tonal quality and the resolution so digital picture which was made in 1922 from a tape punched after the signals had crossed the atlantic with in uh, twice this was 50 level bartlane image and early images uh, were transmitted using five distinct bright levels the process was improved in 1929 to 15 levels five levels to 15 levels so a system for developing a film plate as opposed to printing from the coded picture tape improve the reproduction process considerably then cable pictures of this general pershing and fast transmitted in 1929 by 15 tone equipment from london to new york this is this was this image then how this growth in image processing took place uh, you know made possible by the advent of large scale digital computers so digital computers played an important role and often motivated by requirement of the space program pre apollo and apollo moon missions typical requirements was to correct various type of images distortion inherent in on board television cameras so when you are on satellite and some images are taken so it will contain some or the other distortion because the the platform is not stable also the mariner mars flyby missions etc so this was the requirement and image processing now used to solve many problems everywhere you have uh, image processing uh, commonly require methods capable of enhancing this pictorial information to human interpretation and analysis 
now only perceiving and making it good is not important and uh, you know it holds its its importance but rather uh, information ext- extraction and using it for various purpose is now the main task so these are the example of image processing applications for example medical field x-ray you have seen x-ray image enhancement uh, aerial and satellite image enhancement may be agriculture weather or military and you have industrial application like computer based product inspection law enforcement for example if fingerprint processing surveillance camera processing then defense applications are also there recognizing an enemy tank in a foliage guiding a missile in flight and then science also very much used enhancing an electron microscope image for more readability for example this is a cell this is image of a cell corrupted by electronic noise and this is the result after averaging several noisy images a common technique this is used for noise reduction we are going to see this in quite detail this is an uh, original x image x ray image and this is the result possible after contrast and edge enhancement so these are the two image processing technique uh, contrast and en- edge enhancement and you can see uh, what an improvement over this image then image deep blurring this is the image of human face blurred by uniform motion during exposure and this is the resulting image after application of a deep blurring algorithm now as far as image processing is concerned you must be aware of this electromagnetic spectrum because when you are talking about satellite image it, it will contain infrared image will contain you know various type of uh, Uh, spectral resolutions everything is there so you must be aware that where you are going to take it mostly this visible uh, area this is the area which is generally used because this is not of not of much concern but these areas this particular area is much important to us uh, for example as i suggested there are various spectral resolution like this wavelength uh, in micrometer for viewable or infrared imaging exam for example landsat landsat uh, is a satellite a us satellite so these are the thematic bands in nasa's landsat satellite for example visible blue visible green visible red near ni nir we said we said mir uh, thermal infrared uh, middle infrared so these are the uh, you know wavelength uh, intervals or you can say these are the spectral resolution and the characteristic and uses of these particular bands are uh, for example uh, visible blue maximum water penetration is there for visible green uh, good for measuring plant vigor visible red is for vegetation uh, discrimination near infrared is for biomass and shoreline mapping and middle infrared is for moisture content of soil and vegetation thermal infrared is for soil moisture and thermal mapping and middle infrared is for mineral mapping so all these bands all these images which are taken in this band or visible spectrum or you know somewhat above than that everywhere you can find its usage these are the landsat images of washington dc area and these are the landsat of uh, you know there are seven images uh, the numbers refer to the thematic bands which we just saw in this table so this is a uh, now machine uh, perception what is machine perception a uh, previous example uh, illustrate processing results intended for human interpretation for us but a second class of image processing application is also there which is solving problems dealing with machine perception so in this case the interest actually focuses on methods for extracting information in a form which is suitable for computer processing see we also have a computer human being has a computer in mind we have eyes we see and this eyes whatever it sees it goes to our brain and we compute certain thing certain thing we think of something we take decision but as far as uh, machine is concerned this is very important for extracting information in a form which is suitable for computer processing so this includes statistical uh, moments uh, fourier transform coefficients distance measures and eigen vectors and eigen values this we are going to see uh, in uh, our discussion later on so there are uh, various problems in machine perception 
For example, we have automatic character recognition and industrial machine vision for product assembly and inspection, uh, military uh, recognizance, then automatic processing of your fingerprints, screening of x-rays and blood samples, and machine processing of aerial and satellite imagery for weather prediction, crop assessment, and all those things we just saw, uh, you know, various bands of Landsat, what application may be, you know, they may help. So this is the digital image representation. This is a very important thing which I'm, go I'm going to you tell you just now because all other things are dependent on this only. So kindly understand this uh, uh, very closely that this is a digital image representation, monochrome image or simply an image it refers to a two-dimensional light intensity function f x y. Now this is f you have x comma y, right? This is simply a 2D, two-dimensional light intensity function, which is a image. This X and Y, it denotes the spatial coordinates. This is X, this is Y. And we take for an image origin as zero, this. This is zero, zero. The value of FXY at any point XY, this is X, this is Y, this is the coordinate of XY. Now, any value at this particular point x y is proportional to the brightness of the image at the that point so this point the whatever the brightness value is okay this is if uh, these brightness values are spread on this complete image then we say this is a digital image so uh, image is actually the function of your two dimensional function of uh, light intensity. So everywhere uh, at every x y point you will find some or the other brightness value and if you combine this brightness value you will see an image. So a digital image is an image that has been discretized both in spatial coordinate and in brightness. So at every spatial coordinate you will have a brightness uh, this I just suggested and you consider uh, this is considered or uh, as a matrix whose rows and columns indices represent a point in the image for example if you say this is a this is row this is row this is row and these are the columns this is how the image is perceived i cannot draw, draw a straight line sorry for that the intersection point all these points you can presume that or this sense Right, every on these cells or at this point, you can presume this because we are going to take it, uh, take these uh, things in detail. These points are actually the every point has a brightness value, so th that is why it is considered as a matrix. So the corresponding matrix element values represent the gray value at that point, and the element of such an array are referred to as our picture elements, this or image elements. Picture element you take. PI from this and ELS from this, you get a pixel or a pulse. So what are the steps in image processing? The problem domain in this example consists of pieces of mail and the objective is to read the address on each piece. Okay, we'll take an example. So let us again see the problem. Problem domain is example consists of a pieces a piece of mail and the objective is to read the address on C space. This is our problem so first of all you have image acquisition so acquire a digital image using a image sensor a monochrome or a color tv camera this produces an image of probable domain uh, every 1 by 30 seconds or a line camera produces a single image line at time motion past the camera produces a 2d image so if not digital an analog to digital conversion process is required so because we are talking only about digital image processing so if it is analog, you have to change it into digital by any purpose, by any process. So the nature of the image sensor are determined by the application. For example, mail reading application rely greatly on line scan cameras because we are taking this as an example, just for the sake of explanation. And CCT and CMOS image sensors are very common in many applications. Then we have the process two. Okay, first is image acquisition. This process, this step. Second is this pre-processing. 
So what are the key functions? Improve the image in ways that increase the chance, chance of success of the other processes. For uh, the example we have taken in the main example, it may deal with contrast enhancement, removing noise, isolating regions whose texture, textures and indicates a likelihood of uh, alphanumeric information. Then comes the uh, third part, that is the segmentation. Because this particular problem which we have taken, it is in more segmentation. So broadly defined, breaking an image into its constituent parts. So one of the most important tasks in image processing is good segmentation. It simplifies the rest of the problem and poor segmentation makes the task more impossible. So output is usually raw pixel data. That is, it may represent region boundaries, points in the region itself. So boundary representation can be useful when the focus is on external shape characteristics. Then we have region representation, uh, which is the prop, uh, appropriate when the focus is on internal properties like texture or skeletal shape. For this problem, which we are taking, character recognition, for example, both representation, both type of representation can be necessary. Then this uh, part four or step four is representation description. Representation is transforming your raw data into the, into the form which is suitable for computer processing. Uh, then comes the description, also called the feature extraction, very important topic. It deals with extracting features that represent some quantitative information of interest or features which are basic for differentiating one class of objects from another. We have just done segmentation. So in terms of character recognition, these descriptors such as lakes, uh, holes and base help differentiate one part of the alphabet from the other. Then comes the part uh, or step five, recognition and interpretation. Uh, recognition, the process uh, which assigns a label to an object based on the information provided by its descriptor. For example, this may be uh, the alpha numeric character A. And interpretation means assigning meaning to an ensemble of recognized objects. This can be a zip code. So these are the steps in image processing. We start with our problem domain, we uh, acquire the image, then we pre-process the image, then we segment, then we represent and descript, uh, you know, description is done, and then recognition and interpretation, this is the result. And in, meanwhile, every step has knowledge base. So image processing steps, as I just suggested, it is it starts from image acquisition. Uh, we just broadly, you know, exemplify it. Image filtering and uh, Enhancement, image restoration, color image processing, wavelet and uh, multi-resolution processing, compression, morphological processing, segmentation, uh, representation, description, and then object recognition. All these are the various image processing steps according to various uh, text you will see. Then the intermediate part, as you have, uh, you know, might have, uh, you know, uh, seen in between. This knowledge uh, about a problem domain is coded into an image processing system in the form of knowledge database. It may be simple for detailing areas of an image expected to be of interest. It may be complex, a list of possible defects of material in the vision inspection system, for example. Then this act as a guide or uh, guides uh, operation of each processing module, controls interaction between all modules and provides feedback through the system. So uh, not all image processing system would require all steps and processing module as I just suggested because we have taken certain example for that character recognition it has taken certain uh, steps but all, not all they may take some other uh, steps for uh, image enhancement for visual, uh, human visual perception may not be, go beyond the pre-processing pre stage only so knowledge database may not be required so processing system which include recognition and interpretation are associated with image analysis system in which the objective is autonomous or at least partially automated. So thank you so much. This was an introduction of digital image processing. Take care.